Hi, I'm Marie Mushing, and you're watching People in Connection TV. Well, we have a great show lined up for you today. In the studio, we have Don Guyberson from Dream Crafters and Wayne Baker from Cooking is Fun and Easy. So let's get started. We just had our first independent show, the Transformation Show, start up on May the 17th with Donna McRae from Top Hat Fine Apparel. And actually her next show is upcoming this morning again and at 11.30, so I hope you stay tuned and you will watch that show at 11.30 this morning. We also have some new things on People in Connection uh, that we hope that you'll take some time to check out. We have a lot of um, new events that are online for the month of June. Um, some great new articles that have also just been posted within the last couple of weeks. And of course some new videos that are, we're uploading to the site this morning, so you'll be able to check those out under our video page. Now we do have some newest members for People in Connection. Tracer Robertson from the DeVal Hospice in the Niagara region. And also Linda, Bald uh, Linda Baldwin from LMB Bookkeeping and Income Taxes just joined People in Connection. So my first guest today is Wayne Baker from Cooking is Fun and Easy. Good morning, Marie. Good morning, Wayne. And how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, and here's the traditional. Yeah. <laughs> Show off my stuff. <laughs> this is the traditional stuff. You know, the olive oils and the spices. Right. Yes. And how have you been? I'm been up good. I have been good. seen you for a while, and you're yeah. a busy guy these days. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. I could be busier. Yeah. Well, we can always always be busier. But you got some great things coming up this month. You're going to be at the Hamilton Market, aren't you? I'm going to be at the Hamilton Market um, on Tuesday nights, mm -hmm. doing uh, some shows or some demonstrations on small appliances. Excellent. Excellent. And what's the first one? Uh, the first one is, I think it's a food processor. Um, so we got microwaves. It was supposed processors. to be next Tuesday night, but actually it's been moved ahead to another. So it's not on the seventh; it's on the fourteenth. Oh, the, the first, first one. The fourteenth. Okay. Fourteenth. Oh, uh, and great. Uh, and that's in the kitchen. At the, at that's the in the kitchen. No, that's the kitchen. Yeah. Excellent. There's um, food processor. There's electric frying pan or grill. There's the crock pot, and there's the toaster oven. Oh, fabulous. Great little appliances too, and I think a lot of people just don't know how to make the most of those either. Yeah. So that's that's a great. And you can register by getting in touch with the market. Mm-hmm. Oh, perfect. So everything goes right through the market. Right. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. So what are we talking about today? Wayne? Well, we're going to talk about menu planning today. Oh, that's a great idea. Because a lot of people think that they're eating healthy and they're not really eating healthy. Yeah. So mm -hmm. um, when I talk to people about what they're eating, because, you know, people will say, well, I eat very healthy. So I say, well, let's look and see what it is you eat. And then they go over it and you think, well, some of it's healthy, but there's a lot of it that isn't. So mm -hmm. that if, if people um, would really like to be eating healthy, then, mm -hmm. you know, we can talk about what kind of foods they should be eating and how it should be prepared, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Okay. And so what are the, some of the suggestions that you can give people? Well, I, I like I like doing soup. I have soup all year round myself. Yeah. And soup is a very healthy thing as long as you don't buy it in the cans. <laughs> yeah, this is true. A lot of sodium in those. A lot of things. sodium. Anything in the cans uh, has has sodium in it. Mm -hmm. Even if it says reduce sodium, yeah. there's still too much. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And it takes anywhere from 15 minutes to a half hour mm -hmm. to make most soups, mm -hmm. which okay. really isn't very long. No, no, exactly. There are some soups that take longer, but mm -hmm. we don't have to do those. There's well, lots of, like, I, I have a video that I, I did, my first one, actually. Excellent. I did on cream of mushroom, cream of tomato soup. Okay. And uh, the video itself is two minutes, just over two minutes long. Mm -hmm. And it's making the cream of tomato soup from beginning to end. Oh, wow. So it really doesn't take very long, mm -hmm. and it tastes much better, and it's much more healthy. Oh, I bet. I bet. Yeah, because you're just getting all those fresh products right, right in your soup. And right. then you're eating it right away, so right. it's nothing that's going to sit there and, yeah. Yeah, in the can for a few months until you finally get it. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, that, that's a wonderful idea. And what other areas do you find that people mistakenly think they're eating healthy and they might not be? Um, well, the way they prepare vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, 
it's not, I mean, I, I do it sometimes, but it's not a good idea to do a lot of fried foods. Right, okay. Uh, if you do do fried foods, then use a good oil like olive oil or okay. grapeseed oil, those mm -hmm. kind of things. Mm -hmm. uh, I tell people to stay away from anything that just says vegetable oil. Yes. Because you yes. really don't know what's in it, yes. and it may not be the healthiest. Yeah, exactly. Now, and you carry this wonderful line of the, the uh, enhanced flavored Flavor. oils. Right. And, of course, these are all uh, olive oils right. as well. Okay. And, and, these, and where are these come from? Where do these Italy. Come? These are right from Italy. So, yeah. The oil, the oil itself is, is prepared. Mm hmm uh, and processed and packaged in Italy mm -hmm. and then shipped over here. Excellent. You never know if, if something is packed on this side of the ocean you really never know that it's exactly what it says it is mm -hmm. because there's no real regulations and people don't check. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's important to know right. that you are getting a, a good quality product. Now for most of the summer, um, I, I won't say every Saturday, but most Saturdays uh, I'll be at um, Hagler's Flea Market on Saturdays. Oh yes, okay. Um, a friend of ours. Yes. Linda. Linda. Yes. Linda, Wol Linda Wolf has a booth there, and for the summer she's only doing Sundays. Right. So I'm going to do Saturdays for her and sell oh. her tea, plus having my olive oils and spices there as well. Oh, fabulous! And there's uh, always you can always taste the oils there. I have mm -hmm. pieces of bread and olive oil and the oils out so yep. that people can taste. And that's the fun part. Right. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's and that's a wonderful idea. Yeah. That's from twelve yeah. to five on Saturdays. Yeah. Oh great. That's great. And Hagler's you know, market is just down on Barton Street, east end of Hamilton. Strathern and Barton. Strathern and Barton, you know, and, and it's a great little old flea market right. as well too. Um, a lot of vendors in there and this seems to be um, you know, I had gone there years ago and then I hadn't gone for many years and then we just went back to the Hagler's market, you know, in the last few months right. of course since Linda has been there selling her teas. And I found there's a lot of new products there at at that market. And a lot of great new vendors that are selling a lot of great things. So it's wonderful to know that you're going to be there. Yeah, I've been there now for about a month. Perfect. That's great. See, I can, you can tell I haven't been there for a that's month. That's right. <laughs> you know what? That's a, that's the interesting part. In the four weeks that I've been there, I haven't seen one person that I know. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I think, too, it's getting that time of the year where yeah. people are getting busy. Yeah. And I guess we're not doing so many indoor things, although you know, you think, you think with all this rain that we've been having. That we would have. <laughs> yeah. Finally, not raining for a few days. It's wonderful, yes. Although t this morning you kind of think it was earlier in the spring today. It yeah, it's cooler little, today. It's a little chilly this but, morning. But then again, Tuesday was terrible. Yeah. I yeah. thought it was terrible. I don't know. 32 degrees is too know. warm for May. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but no, it's nice compared to the weather we've been having. Now so I guess June, we, so. You know, we really can't complain right. at this point. But thank you so much for coming in this morning and sharing Welcome. that with us. Thanks for the opportunity. Good luck with your opportunity down at the market right. and also at Hagler's Marketplace. Thank I'm you. I'll sure be seeing you there. Okay. That's great. Thank you so much. And you know what, if you want to learn how to cook some great meals you know, in your home, how to eat healthy, get in contact with Wayne, because that's you know, one of the passions of his business with Cooking is Fun and Easy, is teaching people how to cook wonderful, nutritious meals that are really easy, right in their home, on a daily basis. So check out his website, cookingisfunandeasy.ca, and give him a call directly. So we got some upcoming People in Connection Network events. We have Burlington. Um, and I still have June the 1st down there, so obviously I'm a little behind, but Burlington is the first Wednesday of the month. Um, same with Niagara Falls, first Wednesday of the month, so you're looking at the first Wednesday in July for both Burlington and Niagara Falls. Hamilton is Wednesday, June the 8th. St. Catharines, also Wednesday, June the 8th. Hamilton's a breakfast event, St. Catharines is lunch. If you can find a dinner event that day, you got it made. Brantford, Tuesday, June the 28th. And that's a breakfast event, and that's our early morning breakfast event, actually the earliest of all of them. It starts at 7.30 in the morning in Brantford. So my next guest this morning is Don Guyverson with his series, Living the Dream. Good morning, Marie. Good morning, Don. How are you today? Very good, thank you. That's good. And, and things have been well. And Don's here back to back this week. You know, if you watched the show on Tuesday, Don was here. And Don's here again this morning. So. Yeah. It's always a pleasure to have you here. And I'm really interested in Don's topic this week of how to get things done with ease and grace because sometimes that's a real challenge. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yes. 
I mean, most of us go into business because we want to be our own boss. The yes. problem is there is no boss other than us. Exactly. Which means we have to figure out everything for ourselves. We have to decide what to do and when. Mm -hmm. We have and a lot of decisions in terms of what products to offer, at what prices, when it's time to do things, when's mm -hmm. the right time to bring in new staff, all right. those kinds of things. So we have a lot of things to do and a lot of things to decide. Yeah, exactly. And as we get busier and busier and our business is growing, yeah, you start to find, oh, gee, when am I going to time to do that? When am I going to do that? And, it starts, and as you say, you know, get things done with really ease and grace. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it's ease and grace. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, so here we are, feeling overwhelmed, yes, sometimes. Yes. <laughs> so I find a lot of the business owners that I speak to and coaching clients are feeling overwhelmed. They've yes. got a lot to do and often just can't find enough time to get it all done. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do this morning was share two techniques that will help, uh, really help us do the right things okay. at the right time mm -hmm. and in the easiest way possible. Perfect. And those two techniques that we're going to look at this morning are the divine planning and scheduling method okay. and segment intending. Okay. So the first one is the divine planning and scheduling method. And there, it's based on the idea that there is a natural rhythm to the universe. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the different seasons, the sun rises and sets, mm -hmm. the tide goes in, out and it comes back in. There's just a natural flow to things. Well, there's a natural flow to our business as well, if we can sort of tune into it and yeah, align okay. with it. Right, yeah. So that whole idea of divine timing, if you mm -hmm. will. So the divine planning and scheduling method is really a way for us to align with that natural flow of the universe so that we okay. are doing the right things mm -hmm. at the right time and that way we can be more effective and efficient okay. with our time. So that allows us to do things with ease and grace, <laughs> is the idea. Yeah. And you make it sound so easy. Well actually it is fairly easy yeah. okay. so once, you, once you learn the basic system. Uh, and it's first of all we have to understand one simple thing and Pierre de Chardin said it best we are not human beings having a spiritual experience mm -hmm. we are spiritual beings okay. having a human experience that's a very interesting very powerful statement mm. yeah. so the basis of that is to realize that our true nature is spiritual we are mm -hmm. truly of spirit but okay. we are living in a physical world and operating under physical and right. human laws yes. So what the divine planning and scheduling method does is it uses our spiritual basis. It allows us to connect with that wisdom that okay. we have within us. Okay. So essentially, um, because we are spiritual beings living in a human world, we sort of ha we sort of have a foot in both realms. Mm -hmm. And there is a part of us called it the soul or whatever you want that sort of mm -hmm. is the bridge. It it is very much in the physical realm, but it also has a connection to the spiritual realm, if you can, okay. if you will. And that is where we're able to tap into information and access knowledge and wisdom that's beyond what's available to our human self. Mm -hmm. And this is the basis for intuition. We've all had that, you know, we just have that intuitive feeling, or we just know something without knowing how we know it. Yes. Well, where did that information come from? Mm -hmm. It didn't come from our senses, from our, our human knowledge. It came from information that's beyond our, our senses. Right. And mm -hmm. we're going to learn how to tap into that today. Oh, excellent. In a very brief way. In a uh, very you know, brief way. Right. <laughs> so, uh, essentially the divine planning and scheduling method works with our high self, uh, which is that connection to the, to the wisdom, and mm -hmm. we use that for guidance. Okay. And we do this planning, generally I suggest doing it weekly, so you plan mm -hmm. out your week, and then you do it for the next day. So there's a weekly basis to it and a daily basis oh, okay. to it. And there's three main steps to it. Mm -hmm. The prep to work, P-R-E-P, -E -P, to work discerning what to do, and then discerning when to do it. So the first step is uh, PREP to work, and PREP stands for P-R-E-P, -E which is actually four different steps. So you can okay. that. And the first step is a positive affirmation to sort of start us connecting with that wise part of us. And there's some different ones that we can use. The one that I use is Spirit and I are one, we mm -hmm. work as a team. And as soon as I say that, I start to remind myself of the, that at the core, I am a spiritual being. And I start to reconnect with that. Okay. Uh, we can use other ones. I am one with spirit. Um, God guides me always and in all ways. I have a strong connection to the divine presence within me. I receive clear and perfect guidance, which I trust completely and follow faithfully. So some of those, just something to start connecting us okay. with that source. Mm -hmm. 
Then the next step is to release and remove any blocks that might be in the way uh, with our connection. Mm -hmm. And there's some things we do. So we ask <laughs> that we clear away any negative energies that might be around okay. us. Mm -hmm. um, we ask that we connect only with those sources of information that are of the highest and purest um, source. Because okay. there are some, when we're dealing with the spiritual realm, there can be some mischievous and <laughs> little, little energies that we don't want to be guiding us. Okay. We want to make sure that our connection is to yeah. the highest and, okay. and best. Yes. So, just like the angel on one side and the devil on the other side. Exactly, right. <laughs> Both offering to advise us, but we only yeah, want to listen, listen to the right to the one side. Right. Yes. That's right. That's right. Uh, so we just say, you know, clear away any negative energies, yeah. clear away any blocks, uh, allow me to be well connected to, mm -hmm. and we ask that it come from the highest place of love. Mm -hmm. So that type of thing. Okay. And then E is to establish our connection with the highest self. And there are some phrases that we go through to help sort of establish that connection. And then the last part is once we feel connected, we do a, some practice questions to make okay. sure. Just confirm that we're getting the right answers. Right. So mm -hmm. I all, I'll often do, my name is Don, my name is Gertrude, and make sure I'm getting yes and no answers correctly. I'm a man, I'm a woman, I'm sitting, I'm standing, I'm wearing green, I'm wearing black. Mm -hmm. And I just confirm that I'm getting correct answers right. and answers. Mm -hmm. So that's the first step, prep to work. Okay. So once we are connected, we then want to know what to do. What's what right. are the, so we have? If you're like most people, you probably have this big long to do yes, list, right? All long. these things. Yes. <laughs> well, what do you work on? What yeah, is it exactly. best to work on? Yeah. So let's say you're doing your weekly one. Mm -hmm. So you, you and it's always good to list other because sometimes okay. you may be wanting to work on a certain project on a certain day, but your higher self will say, no, that's not the thing to work on today, and maybe it's not even on your list. Right. But anyway. So you have a list of the different things, and you just go, okay, so for the first item, you say, um, let's say you're doing your weekly one. Okay. Is it, uh, when is it in my highest and best to work on this this week? Okay. And then you can go Monday, yes, no, Tuesday, yes, no, Wednesday, and you find out the right day to work on that. Okay. And if it's none, well, actually, you might want to do it in two steps. Is it in my highest and best to work on this this week? And if no, you cross that off your list. You're not going to okay. work on it this week. For whatever reason, <laughs> For whatever it's reason. not best to work yes. on it. There, okay. I mean, you can, but... Your wisdom is saying it's not going to be productive and effective to work on it this mm -hmm. particular day. So the first is, is it? Yes. And if so, then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So then okay. you have your list of things to do each day. All right. So that's your weekly. And if you're doing a daily one, is it for my highest and best to work on this tomorrow? Like I like to do the planning the day before. Okay. So that, when you're done, you then have your list of things to work on that week mm -hmm. or the oh, next day. Is. So those okay. are the list of things. So that's your divinely guided to-do list. All right. So you're now ready for the next step. Now, right. if, I should probably mention, if it does come up that you get other, okay. then that is your higher wisdom is saying there's something that is even better for you to be doing on this particular day that's not on your list. Okay. So maybe you're planning to have a really busy day tomorrow, but it would actually be better for you to take the day off and go to the beach. All right. Your, your higher I, self is I saying, liked my higher your higher self is saying, look, you're burned out. <laughs> if you continue, you're just not, you're yeah. not going to be productive. Well, and so true, though. Yeah. yeah. And because you're, just, you're better off to is say, take that time. And it's just say, if you're burned out and you you know you're not going to do a very good day anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, ebb and flow. It's yeah, just exactly. natural flow. We have to yeah. play, but we also, we have yeah. to work, yeah. but we also yeah. have to play. We have to recharge yeah. and rejuvenate. Exactly. And sometimes we forget that. And sometimes yes. we need a little reminder to say, it would actually be better if you took some time off. And maybe it's only a half an hour or an hour, right. uh, but that you'll come back totally refreshed and it'll be far more productive. Right. So yeah, sometimes we need that reminder. Yes. So once we have okay. that divinely guided to-do list, then we just... When to do them. When to do them. Okay. So we basically, once we have our list, we take each one and we ask for the right day if we're doing it weekly. Or we ask if it's daily, is it best for me to do this in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening? Okay. And then everything just falls into place in terms of the right mm -hmm. time. And you can even set specific times if okay. you want. So an example of how this would work is um, I'm doing two classes right now with another lady, Karen Kent, mm -hmm. and they're the um, the love um, the turbocharger business okay. and mm -hmm. the secret to attracting mm -hmm. your perfect partner. Right. So we're just finishing those up. The last class is today, mm -hmm. and we said, okay, so when is the you know when should we do these again? So we're both trained in these systems, so mm -hmm. we both got out our pendulums. And I think I brought my nice little pendulum with me today. Yes. Oh. Actually, I think I put it in the pocket. Oh, my apologies. <laughs> That's okay. I came here to wreck things today. <laughs> yeah, so here's... And okay. So I, y there's two different ways we can use. We can use muscle checking, which is turn, tunes into the body's knowledge, or okay. we can use the pendulum. And I often use a pendulum. There's nothing special about a pendulum. Okay. But it's okay. our 
our okay. our body has a nat when we when we connect with wisdom, okay. our, but we have something called the idiomotor response, and mm -hmm. it's just a subtle little vibration in our body, okay. and it's usually so subtle that it's hard to see. But when we're holding the pendulum, it amplifies that 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 little mm -hmm. movement, yeah. and then mm -hmm. we know the answer that we're getting. So there's nothing special about it. It just, it helps, just us helps us come better connected with with, oh, with our wisdom. So what we did is we got out our, our pendulums, we did our little prep to work, make sure we were properly connected, and then we asked when is the next when is the next perfect time to offer okay. this course again? June? No. July? Yes. Uh, what is the perfect day to offer this course? Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday. Okay. When's the perfect time to start? Second Tuesday. Okay, what's the perfect time to offer this course? Two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock. And within a few minutes we had a divinely guided time, date and uh, when to do the, the next courses, both okay. of these courses. Now, why those particular, see, we don't know, but mm -hmm. the, the, call it that, that divine wisdom knows who's likely to be in the class, knows when the right time for them is, knows when it'll be, you know, there's all kinds of factors that go into that that mm -hmm. we're not aware of, mm -hmm. and it's all boiled down to a simple little yes or no okay. uh, answers. Mm -hmm. So it's a really effective way of scheduling our time, mm -hmm. You can also use it for, let's say you're offering a new product or service. What's the right price? Okay. Get out your pendulum and, or your muscle checking. What is the optimal price to charge for this product or service? Uh, when's the perfect time to release your next product or service that you think you've offered to the marketplace? Mm -hmm. So that's the first step, or the first technique, which is the divine planning and scheduling method. And it ensures that we're doing the right things in the right time. Then the next one is called segment intending. Okay. And mm -hmm. segment intending, as the title suggests, is intending before we start the next segment of our day. Okay. So we've got our list of things that we're going to do each day. Mm -hmm. So we're about to start on the next thing on our list. So maybe you're about to make a phone call mm -hmm. to someone who's maybe going to be a business partner and you're mm -hmm. looking at doing some type of a cross promotion or doing some work together. Mm -hmm. So before you make that call, you take just a minute or so and you imagine yourself making the call and getting the person on the line, the, the call going well, and unfolding the way that you want, and hanging mm -hmm. up and feeling really good about it, and having mm -hmm. achieved the desired result. Okay. So it's just imagining, seeing and feeling in advance what you want to happen. Okay. And I mean, we know professional athletes yes. do this all the time. Mm -hmm. We see them yeah, visualize it before, before yes. they, be, they perform, they're seeing it go perfectly right, hitting mm -hmm. the right shot, they're performing mm -hmm. perfectly. Why do they do that? Because they know it's powerful and it works. Okay. Well, we can do exactly the same thing in our business. Just taking a minute or two before we start the next part of our activities and imagining it going easily and perfectly. Excellent. So now we're doing the right things mm -hmm. at the right time, and with segment intending, we're also ensuring they happen as easily and smoothly as possible. So when Great. we put the two together, yeah. we mm -hmm. have a really powerful system. Oh, the divine planning mm -hmm. and scheduling ensures we do the right things at the right time, okay. and the segment intending ensures that they happen as smoothly and easily as possible. Perfect. So it's a really nice combination to mm -hmm. put the two together. Yeah. And finally, I guess if people want to learn more about this, they can um, they can contact me if they want to grow their business, if they're interested in, in uh, coaching or even mm -hmm. some training in some of these different techniques and methods that I'm sharing through the show. Yeah. Uh, they're welcome to contact me, and my information is there. Definitely. Excellent. Very good. And, and you know, a lot of great information you just gave there because, it's a, you know, I think sometimes too, when you get to the point where you are feeling that little bit of overwhelmed, like you do have this huge to-do list, yeah, being able to focus and take that time to understand what is important in your business and your life really does make a difference. It mm -hmm. does help you to calm down and take those steps because mm -hmm. I know I, I find that myself and you know, I think, oh. And sometimes when you get too overwhelmed, people tend to do nothing because they just don't know where to start. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, their suggestions from today are a wonderful idea and definitely something if they need help with, they should contact you. Yeah, yeah. And of course, we probably all have the experience where, you know how you have those days where you just feel like you're pushing a boulder uphill? You're yeah. trying to do things and it's just not flowing. Yeah. Up. It's, we're not doing the right thing at the right time. For mm -hmm. whatever reason, we're just out of sync with the natural okay. flow. Yeah, I've had and what like this that. is, is <laughs> it, it's a way of making sure that we schedule our time and our activities so mm -hmm. that we are operating in sync with the divine flow of mm -hmm. the universe, if you will. Perfect. And things just become that much more easy and they flow. Excellent. I'll have to remember that. Because, you know, you do have those days when you think, gee, nothing's working today. Nothing I'm doing is working out today. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, as I say, we all have those days in our business, and so there must be a reason why, because then you may go back to it the next day, and it just goes perfectly. Yes. 
We've all had so, that experience. Oh yeah. Work on it, work on it, work on it, and nothing's working. And then the next day, yeah. everything just falls but into place. It just clicks. Yeah. yeah, it's perfect. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much, Don. Well, it's been what a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Have a great day. Well, don't forget you your pendulum. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> So definitely drop by Don's website at dreamcrafters.ca, register for some of the courses that they have ongoing, and you know, these are webinars so you don't have to show up someplace to be there, you can do this all online with them if you're not there you know, that minute for the course, they do archive everything and you are able to still follow along and take advantage of it. And of course, Don's always available to you for one-on-one -on -one coaching if a group situation or you know that webinar isn't something that makes you comfortable. So, you know, contact him. Find it somewhere. So we got a couple of new shows that are coming up this month in, in June that you, you definitely want to watch for. We have Fun Trucking with Wayne, which is a brand new travel show starring Wayne Henry, and Center Stage with Karen Hubert. And both those shows are premiering on June the 16th. And so we have a great lineup that day. That's going to be a wonderful day for, we'll have the three independent shows actually on June the 16th. Uh, Donna McRae will be back with her next segment of the Transformation Show that morning as well. So definitely stay tuned on June 13th for all these great new shows. We'll be back at the Hamilton Chamber of Commerce. We'll be airing live uh, from their studio next Friday. And actually, that's June the 10th. I have June the 8th here, and I know that is the incorrect date for that. So definitely tune in June the 10th, which is a Friday morning at 10 a.m., and watch that show. So that's it for our show for today. My name is Marie Mushy. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.